Hi, hola, good, bonjour, good nation of Nunavik. Here, Dr. Stapp, a.k.a. Dr. Momo, a.k.a. Dr. Black Mosquito, a.k.a. Dr. Bannock, a.k.a. Dr. Picnic. So many AKs in Nunavik, it doesn't stop. Here on that COVID-19 Stay Home, Stay Safe Clinic workout with Dr. Stapp. Yes, today's topic is going to be how do I put my body into it? Yes, how do I feel like I want to do it? Today, I'm working out. Let's do this. Because there's days you don't feel like it. No, I'm tired. I didn't sleep last night. My stomach hurt. I don't want to. So we just don't do nothing. Then there's the fire inside you that wants to do it. But know that it's hard. Because working out was never meant to be easy at the beginning. Of course working out is going to make you feel buffed and sexy. But the main reason is that it's beneficial for your mind, body, and soul. And you remember the last video I posted about stretching. And I was saying it's important to warm up your body before you're stretching. These are ways to get your body grooving into it before you're working out. So remember, stay good-minded, drink a lot of water. Let's do this. Mind up, no days off. Alright folks, I like to start with what I call from top to bottom or from bottom to top. It's the way that I use to help the blood flowing into my body, especially in my joints. I start with my neck, then my shoulders, then my elbows, arms, hands, hips, knees, and ankles. This really helps to find which part of your body needs more workout or which part of your body is injured, or which part of your body you need more time to warm up. It's kind of your own personal exam of your own body. This gives you time to really get ready for your warm up. You have both sides, the left side and the right side, so don't forget to do both. And if you do things with circular movement, Make sure to do both ways, forward and backward. Then I go more dynamic with a classic one, the jumping jack. I make sure to touch my hands on top of my head each rep, 25 times each. I got three jumping jacks that I love to do. The second one is the star cross. I cross my leg in front and the opposite hand in front of me, 25 times. And then there's the third one, the invert one. It's the jumping jack, but I lift my arm and my opposite leg in front of me. Moving your feet is a good way to warm up. I love to use the ladder. If you don't have a ladder, use something that could make a pattern on the floor, like hockey stick or chalk, or even visualize a ladder on the floor. I love to do it slowly so I let my brain register what I'm about to work on. Then I go full speed, quick step, forward and sideways. And of course, both sides. Then there's the in and out. Quick step, quick feet, keep your hands moving. That's gonna be good for you to warm up your quads and your feet and know your entire body at the same time. Then you're ready for workout. Knuckle Mick for watching. All right guys, part two on the next video. I got more for you. Don't forget to like our pages. Check us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, TikTok, Dr. Step, Bivayanic Street Working. No days off. Peace. I'm out.